Flyest guy on the squad. Dang, they do to my boy AD. Space Jam 2 A New Legacy exists, and the fact alone goes beyond the comprehension of our internal kids from the 90s given how bad this new installment was. And if we take a look at the numbers associated with this production, it's difficult to imagine Warner executives going for a third installment. But Warner's has always been known for its big hopes and bigger expectations when it comes to future projects involving their intellectual properties, as they obnoxiously showcase in this film. So bombing at the box office with a revenue of just 163.5 5 million against a 150 million budget doesn't seem to be a problem for Warner. If they feel comfortable spending this kind of money in a two-hour ad for their franchises, they surely will do it again, someday. I'm freaking Robin? And why are we chasing a runaway train? We could have thought we were going to get a similar adventure to the first Space Jam movie, but the only thing similar was the presence of a famous basketball star and a weird video game that featured somewhat similar to real-life basketball. But instead of facing basketball-playing giant aliens from outer space, the Looney Tunes and superstar LeBron James played against a glorified computer algorithm slash artificial intelligent thing inside a computer program, which left us all scratching our heads and wondering what was going on. Because you see, if you watch the movie that has space right in the title, you expect that it has something to do with space. But this time, they didn't even bother to be consistent and just crammed whatever in there, which, if you think about it, only opens up the possibilities for the studio to do whatever they want with the franchise in the future, aliens included or not. We rapping? Show them who you really are, notorious. Besides this nonsensical plot that had nothing to do with space, the movie had other types of failures that may have been pivotal in driving audiences away from the theaters. The excessive intellectual property placement was one of those flaws because it made the audiences feel overexposed to advertising, which is something no one likes to feel when watching a movie. Some have even talked about the possibility of the Looney Tunes just being too out of sync with modern audiences. Let's be real, it's not like we're 96 anymore. Kids these days haven't been watching these cartoons growing up, and maybe they have no clue about who Lola Bunny or Sam are. And if Warner wants this franchise to gain traction again, they need to appeal to the kids and not only their nostalgic parents. So maybe the answer for the franchise is drifting away from the Looney Tune characters altogether. What up? It's Parky Pig. LeBron James can act, that's a given, but neither can Michael Jackson in 96, and he managed to star in a now cult movie. But the thing is, Michael Jackson showed a lot of commitment to his work for the film, and we really got to see him being a basketball star and making shine his status as his royal heiress. In this movie, we don't get that with LeBron, and maybe it's the movie's fault since it doesn't really give him a chance to shine by doing his whole video game thing. Even the movie knows this, and it tries to use his self-awareness as a plot point, letting us know how not even LeBron James is feeling the plot or believing in which is ultimately very sad. <laughs> Watch up, Doc. Bugs. Do we see a Space Jam 3 happening around LeBron's son? Well, the short answer is no. Less short answer, hell no. But let's elaborate a little here. Maybe if the movie's plot is leading us somewhere, which we really doubt, we could be in a territory where they prepare the court for a sequel focused completely on video games. Remember in the end how the kid thinks he's assisting basketball camp, but LeBron took him to a video game coding camp instead? That could be part of a plan if you want to fully get into the esports territory with the next steps for the franchise, but we really doubt that's their direction. And sorry if we sound like naysayers a bit, a 26-year age gap between a movie and its sequel doesn't exactly look like a plan. On the other hand, we do have some words from the director talking about what he'd like to do next, or whom to be precise, and we heard nothing about Dom, that's the name of the kid by the way. The Goon Squad! Yeah, he's fast, he's furious, he's g mungi esque and he's that action movie star you see in every project doing his peck dance routine. This omnipresence is what makes action flicks directors want him in their projects, and Space Jam, a new legacy's director, Malcolm D. Lee is already on board of the rock train. Dwayne Johnson would be an interesting choice. It would be different. I'm not exactly sure what his skill set would be. Maybe he goes back to 
wrestling. That might be interesting. So there you got it. Our initial theory seems to be true, and since they're moving away from space, they could also be moving away from that jam and just do whatever movie they want with an X something, if that part of the concept holds up, that is. And just name it Space Jam 3, while using a famous actor that's more sellable to various demographics. Oh. She got me. In an interview with MovieWeb.com, when asked about the possibility of returning for a sequel, director Malcolm D. Lee left it clear. There is currently no word of a third iteration of Space Jam, but he's open to the idea. I never say never, it's all going to be whether the fans respond to this positively, but I think the bar has been set so high in terms of the first one with this global iconic superstar in Michael Jordan, and now the same global iconic superstar in LeBron James, who transcends sports. Who is the next person to put into that universe? And when you've got to find a script and story that's good enough to not repeat what's been done but will capture the spirit of it and keep it going. His words sound really optimistic, but in the end it all depends on Warner's decisions and expectations. If we're going out, we're going out loony. You wouldn't expect an actual NBA player wanting to write or direct a movie, but surprisingly that's the case with the former NBA star Baron Davis, who has expressed his interest in directing a possible version of Space Jam 3. He tried to openly pitch his idea in an interview with the New York Times. I created this world called Nerth, where Nerthians exist, and they protect against pollution, things like that, Davis said. And basically, LeBron, Steph, and all the major stars, they go down to Nerth and realize they're ruining our planet. In that same interview, Davis also pitched his idea to Steph Curry and to LeBron James himself, but both stars turned them down. Phew, that was a close shot. But don't worry, it doesn't seem like we're going to be seeing that version of Space Jam 3 in the future. No! Stop! After the disappointing performance of Space Jam 2 and New Legacy, both regarding the box office and the critic, it's hard to see a future for this franchise unless some major adjustments are made. In the long run, it'll depend on how comically viable a huge project like this is. Maybe and only maybe if Warner Bros. pulls some kind of audience listening miracle, similar to what Sony did when they listened to the public and completely rehash Sonic the Hedgehog, they could manage to save this franchise and make people interested in Space Jam once again. The franchise needs a hard change of direction. Direction, so maybe including The Rock and using his charisma to give life to a sequel isn't a bad idea after all. One thing is sure, Space Jam 3 will be different or won't be at all. What do you think about Space Jam 2 A New Legacy? Were you impressed by it? Do you even know about this first movie? We guess that these are the kinds of questions the executives at Warner Bros. need to make themselves that they want to really connect with their audiences and bring them a third installment in the future. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Check the rest of our channel for more content about your favorite animated movies, and of course, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn your notifications on by hitting that little bell if you want to keep receiving awesome content like this. Bye. <laughs>